trouble for Lai Mohammed as National Assembly orders Buhari to do this to him. You're welcome to this news. Please listen to the details carefully. Following the damning details on the reports of the Lagos State in regards to the mass killings at Leki during the NSAS protest last year, the House of Representatives Minority Caucus has urged the Minister of Information, Alaji Lai Mohammed, to leave quickly or be terminated by President Muhammad Buhari. Beforehand, the priest guaranteed that no life was lost among the protesters, alluding his assertion to a masquerade without bodies. The minority caucus in the House of Representatives, after a thorough review of the reports of the Lagos State NSAS Judicial Panel, holds that the attempt by officials of the All Progressives Congress, APC, led federal government to cover up the now confirmed bloody massacre of Nigerian suits by security forces at the Lekki toll gates suggests a high-level state-backed conspiracy against Nigerians. The statement said, signed by the minority leader, Honorable Undedi Elumelu on Thursday. The confirmation by the Lagos panel that there was indeed a massacre at the Lekki toll gate during the 2020 NSAS protest in Lagos and that APC government, con- APC government controlled security forces carted away bodies and mopped up evidence places a huge burden on federal government which had vehemently denied any killings. Mr. Ilumelu additionally blasted the pastor's blatant lie to the public, adding that the minority caucus is therefore apprehensive as to what furtive motive that made him insist that there were no killings at Lekki Toll Gate, hired of the judicial panel. More trouble is coming for Lai Muhammad. As the National Assembly, I told Alaji Lai Muhammad to leave quickly or be terminated by President Muhammad Buhari. The Minister of Information had said that the inside protest that occurred October 20, 2020, that there were no killings, no bloodshed, and everybody was safe. Not until the Lagos State Inside Judicial Panel came up and said the youths were masquerade and they mopped up all the evidences so that nobody will have an evidence of what happened. The security forces cut away bodies and they took away the lives of this innocent youth on this day and yet came out saying that there was no killing this is coming in <coughs> pardon this is coming in concerning the answers masquerade Buhari told to sack arrest Lai Mohammed immediately President Mohammed Buhari has been approached to sack the Minister of Information and Culture Alaji Lai Mohammed immediately. The call came following the report of the panel of investigation set by the Lagos State Government to unwind the occurrences of October 20, 2020 at the well-known Lekki Gate, Lagos State. 
The report released during the week had prosecuted the police and soldiers of the Nigerian army of having killed and mutilated innocent youths protesting illegal police exercises and awful administration in Nigeria. Yet, Mohammed, in a series of press conferences, has consistently denied anybody was killed when soldiers attacked the protest scene. Notwithstanding the federal government's position, the report shows clear proof that there were pardon that there was for sure a slaughter at the Lekki toll booth. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, supported his dismissal, arrest and prosecution for his unfortunate lie, which has now been contradicted by a judicial panel of investigators in Lagos. Uriwa made the demand in a media statement made against the settings of the issuance of a decisive judicial report and decision by the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Investigation. The 309 page report detailed how the army and police dismissed their role of engagement during the protests. Ogiwa recalled that Muhammad likewise faulted the claim by Amnesty International that no less than 12 protesters were killed in Lagos State by security operatives during the NSAS protests. Uriwa is asking President Momodo Burari as a biological father of many well-educated children to order the arrest and prosecution of his Minister of Information, Lai Mohamed, for committing a grave and heartless offence that is equivalent to the denial of the Holocaust of the 6 million Jews by Adolf Hitler, which is punishable by nearly half a century of incarceration. Uriwa is also commending the brave members and chairperson of the Lagos State's Judicial Panel of Inquiry on the NSAS protests, especially the circumstances surrender. Pardon. Especially the circumstances surrounding the massive cases of extrajudicial killings by the army and armed police when these armed forces opened fire with lethal weapons targeted at the unarmed protesters. The right group has asked the president not to sweep the lawlessness of the security operatives under the carpets. Similarly, as, as it said, if the president permits his minister of information to get away with the exemption of denying the masquerade that occurred before the highs of the world caught live on radio cameras, then at points, it will be remembered long after he has left from public office as the dictator genocide of youthful protesters and the ages unborn won't ever pardon him for this. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you.